If I were to lose everything today and I had to earn 10k per month in the next 90 days, here is exactly what I would do step by step to start my freelance journey. I've managed to go from 0 to 20k per month and help dozens of students hit 10k per month freelancing. And I did it all with the simple three step framework that I'm about to teach you now. Most people actually don't believe that they can make 10k a month online freelancing. It's too difficult. I'm not skilled enough. The truth is making money online is truly within reach for anyone. You can make money freelancing without relying on sites like Upwork and Fiverr. Take Osh for example. He's my student and he had skills with design. He put these skills into work by building a personal brand on Twitter and actually started freelancing through that brand. We talked about the exact game plan he was going to use in his onboarding call. We designed his landing page, created a video sales letter and formulated his new offer. In just his first 65 days, Osh had gathered over 5,000 followers and collected $18,000 in cold hard cash. Molly is a part-time nurse who was looking to make an extra income online. She was very skilled at copywriting so we decided it would be best if she dove into funnel building. In our first two months she made $10,000 and gained 3,000 followers on social media. Step one is market research and skill matching. Now you saw you need to figure out what service you want to sell, who you want to sell it to ensure that it's actually in demand how do you discover in demand skill check out job posts to see what clients are desperately seeking this could be copywriting web design automation video editing the list honestly goes on once you've picked your skill now you need to think about who you're going to sell that service to remember every skill is a potential gold mine so ask who's your ideal customer what's their industry what keeps them up at night those are the problems that you're going to solve dive into online courses get lost in webinars if you can find a mentor as well i run a one-to-one -one mentorship program where i help you scale your freelancing business my website will be linked below in the description where you can get 24 7 access to me and a like-minded community of freelancers before you go all in on any offer just dip your toes charge a small price maybe get some free clients see if they're happy with your work all this is important for building credibility and authority you'll get valuable feedback and a better understanding of what you can offer once you've picked exactly what skill you're going to hone in on you need to get free clients in exchange for testimonials step two is content creation this is going to be how you're going to accumulate eyeballs onto your website you need to understand your audience dive deep into understanding their needs their interests and pain points of your target audience utilize tools like google trends to stay ahead of the curve engage with your audience through polls surveys comments gather their ideas and get feedback on all of them in order to keep people engaged you have to master hooks. This is what will make your content go viral. Ensure your hook is not just catchy, but relevant to your audience interests and needs. You need to be casting a wide net to accumulate attention. The best social media platforms to post on are YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. These are the most popularly used ones. When you convert these views from these platforms into email subscribers, you can pitch these people your offer down the road. That's when you can sell even more. Now, in the beginning, I don't recommend to post on all platforms you're better off focused on one pick one master it once you've achieved that then you can start posting on other platforms where does your ideal customer spend their most time maybe it's tiktok because it's young dudes with short attention spans maybe it's youtube and twitter for young men to actually try and better themselves and read long form content and watch long form content now that you've picked your social media platform of choice you need a clear content strategy if you post every day I guarantee you will win. Step three is monetization. The simple formula behind social media monetization is to get attention, convert them to your email signups and also get book calls. Get enough of those book calls and you will collect cash. The more attention you gather, the more money you'll make. Here are some of my social media stats. Twitter, I average 1.5 million impressions a month. Personally taken over 330 sales calls. Collected tens and thousands of dollars worth of payments for my services. I'm going to break down some granular information with some hacks that you'll need to implement if you want to find real success with freelancing online. Number one is an optimized profile. This means that you'll have to stay on brand with what your profile portrays, but also add a splash of personality. After you optimize your profile, you need a clear landing page. You'll want to convert a lot of those eyeballs into email signups. Once you own those emails, they can never be taken away from you. One big hurdle I do see people face is sales calls. How do I frame a call? Should they use a presentation?
presentation, comment sales, and I'll reply with access to my master sales document. That wraps it up for the exact steps I would take if I had to restart my freelancing journey. Any questions, just drop them in the comments and I'll be happy to help. Be sure to check out the link in the description where you can find out more about my private one-to-one -one freelancing mentorship. Take care, Mike.